This is Science, Module 2, Lesson 2, Reproduction in Humans. Now, after this lesson, you should be able to understand that living things reproduce to ensure continuity of their own kind. Understand that characteristics pass on from parents to young. Understand the process of fertilization in the sexual reproduction in humans. And lastly, understand the similarities in human and plant sexual reproduction. Firstly, let's look at why do living things reproduce. Now, I have actually covered this segment in the previous topic too. So this is a very quick and short revision. Living things reproduce to ensure continuity of their own kind and prevent them from getting extinct. Living things pass on characteristics from parents to their young through genes. Many times the young do not look like the parents but eventually they do as they grow. Now, what are the characteristics that are passed on in humans? Some of them include blood type, color of skin, color of eyes and there's many many more. In a plant, the characteristics that are passed on would be taste of fruit, color of flower, and uh, again, there are many more characteristics that are passed on. Let's go into the reproduction in humans. What you see here is a family tree. Okay, so basically it just shows the entire family. Now. Humans can reproduce when a female uh, reproductive cell, which is the egg, fuses with the male reproductive cell, which is the sperm. This is known as sexual reproduction. Basically, sexual reproduction happens when a male reproductive cell fuses with a female reproductive cell. The same thing happens in flowering plants. So, Flowering plants and humans both need the male and female reproductive cell for reproduction to happen. Let's look at the male sex organs. This image here shows you the male sex organs. Now, the male has two sex organs which is the testis and the penis. This is the testis. Let me change color. This is the testis over here. And this is the penis over here. Now, this is located outside of the body. Only mature male can produce sperms. The penis is the organ which deposits the sperms in the female's vagina. Looking at the female sex organ, this is the female sex organ. The ovary is part of the female sex organ. This is the ovary. Here you see. Now this is located inside the body of the female. The ovary produces eggs which are the female reproductive cells. Now the eggs are the female reproductive cells and remember the sperm is the male reproductive cell. Only mature female can produce eggs. Now, when an egg is when a female egg is fertilized, what happens? Right? Eventually a baby is born, this cute little baby you see over here. But what happens before that? So when the sperm and egg fuse together, fertilization happens. Now the fertilization happens inside the female's womb, inside her body right it's actually womb okay many sperm reach the egg but only one can fertilize it so the fertilized egg starts to grow the baby gets its nutrients through an umbilical cord U -M. so using the umbilical cord the, uh, the baby can get food and nutrients. 38 weeks later, the baby grows and the baby is born. And we are done with this very short and quick topic. Again, if you do not understand any concepts or if you are unsure of anything, please go back and re-watch this video. 
you will be able to get it. You can also read the notes, remember that. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.